Three days after firing Captain Brett Crozier as commander of the coronavirus, second nuclear aircraft carrier U Theodore Roos, Velt, acting Navy Secretary Thomas Motley boarded the warship docked in Guam and delivered a stinging, profanity, laced denunciation of its deposed skipper. NPR has obtained an audio recording of Motley's remarks. Much of the diatribe delivered, by the Navy's top civilian to the ship's audibly grumbling crew, was a condemnation of a March 30 letter, that Crozier emailed to his superior officials. It describes dire conditions on the Roosevelt, as thousands of crew members remained on board day. Peta dozens of confirmed cases of coronavirus infection. The letter leaked and set off a furor on March 31, the day the San Francisco Chronicle broke the first story about it. It was my opinion that, if he did not think that information was going to get out into the pub, again this information age that we live in. Then he was a too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this, Motley said to the to the sailors. The alternate is that he did it on purpose, and that's a serious violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which you are all familiar with. <laughs>